Hi, penguins and dolphins. I can't believe today is the last day of kindergarten. We have learned so much in kindergarten and your brains have grown so big and I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of every single one of you and all of the hard work you've done in kindergarten to grow your brain, to be friendly and choose kind. You are wonderful, wonderful kids and I'm so happy I got to be your teacher this year. Now, in kindergarten, we learned a lot of things with counting and with numbers. I remember at the very beginning of kindergarten, it was hard to do counting and it was hard to remember, what, what does three look like again? What's five look like again? I remember that was hard for you and you have learned so much and now you even know so much about plus and minus. So today on the last day of kindergarten, I want to tell you some plus and minus stories and I want you to solve them. So right now, what I want you to do is push pause and I want you to go get a piece of paper, a pencil and an eraser, or if you want to use a whiteboard, you can use a whiteboard and a whiteboard marker. Go. Okay, are you back? All right, my little penguin and dolphin last day of kindergartners. Let's do some stories. So the first thing I need you to do is make your paper look like this. You know how to do that. Draw the lines, make the boxes, push pause and do that. All right, now we're ready. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna tell some kindergarten stories. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna say some, kinder, some things that we've done in kindergarten, some kindergarten stories. Once upon a time, there were four kindergartners at the pumpkin patch. Remember when we went to the pumpkin patch? Yeah. There were four kids petting the pigs at the pumpkin patch. Push pause and draw those four, draw those four um, kids. Just draw circles, go. Okay, once upon a time, there were four kids petting the pigs at the pumpkin patch, but then two of them went away and they went to go pick their pumpkin. Show that in your picture. So how many kids were left petting the pigs at the pumpkin patch? That's right. Now push pause and write that equation, go. Okay, did you do it? You did? Awesome, all right, now I'm gonna do it. So I said there were four kids petting the pigs at the pumpkin patch. There are the four kids, one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna draw it. One, two, three, four. There's the four kids at the pumpkin patch. Um, but then two went away to go pick their pumpkin. So is that plus or is that minus? It's minus. Yeah, I have to minus, and how many did? How many am I minusing? Two, one, two. So how many kids, oh, let me make my two. So how many kids were left petting the pigs at the pumpkin patch? That's right, look, one, two, two. Okay, fix yours. If you made any mistakes or a backwards number or anything like that, go just push pause and fix it. No worries. Then take your finger and put your finger underneath number four. And let's read our equation. Ready, go. Four minus two equals two. Ding, da, da, ding, ding, ding. Give yourself a big star, a big kindergarten star. Good. And get ready for our next story. I think this story is going to be about, oh, I know, I think it's going to be about um, that, that, that day in kindergarten where we made gingerbread houses and we had all that candy. 
It's gonna be a candy story about our gingerbread house day. Okay, here we go. Once upon a time in kindergarten, some kids were making their gingerbread houses. There was a lot of candy on the table. And one friend decided to put on some candies on their roof. This is how many candies they chose. Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven candies on the roof. Push pause, dry your seven candies. Okay. So, our friend put seven candies on their roof, but it wasn't quite enough. So then, they added four more candies to the roof. Push pause, add that to your picture. Good. And then they plus together and they had a lot of candies on their roof. How many candies did they have on their roof? Push pause and count it, count it, go. How many? Mm, now push pause and write your equation. Okay, did you do it? All right, so now it's my turn. I said once upon a time, there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven candies. You put seven candies on the roof. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven candies. But it wasn't quite enough. So then they put on one, two, three, four more. So is that a plus story or a minus story? A plus story. They put on four more candies and then it plus together. Now I'm gonna write the equation. First there were seven, but then they plused four more. And how many did it equal? Let's count together, count with me, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. How do I make eleven? A one and a one, jackpot ones. You're right. Push pause and fix anything that you need to. Then take your finger and put it underneath number seven. Let's read this equation. Ready, go. Seven plus four equals 11. Ding, ding, ding. Good job, my friends. All right. Next story. Give yourself a heart or a star or a happy face or a smile. Whatever you like. And get ready for our third story. This one is gonna be about recess. Remember recess? It was so fun, I love recess. Okay, once upon a time, some penguins and dolphins were playing at recess. This is how many were playing. They were playing basketball at recess. Let's count it. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. There were five friends playing basketball at recess. Push pause and draw your five friends. Go. Okay. But then, more friends came to play. How many more friends came to play? One, two, three, four. Four more friends came to play. Show that in your picture, go. Good, now how many friends, whoa, were playing all together at basketball? Sounds like a busy basketball game. How, push pause and count. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, there were nine. So is that a plus story or a minus story? That's a plus story, you're right. Push pause and write your equation, go. Okay, let's check it. First, I have to draw my picture. I said there were five 
friends playing basketball. There's my five. But then four more came to play. One, two, three, four. And then they plus together and they all played happily ever after. Let's write my equation. What number, how many friends were playing first? Five. And then did they plus or did they minus? They plused. Good. And how many friends plused with them? Four. Very good. And so how many friends did it equal? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It equaled nine friends. Yay. All right. Put your finger underneath five. If you need to make any fixes, just push pause and do that. And then let's read. Ready, go. Five plus four equals nine. Ding, ding, ding. Let me give myself a sun. A fancy sun. It looks like that. A fancy sun. Give yourself what you like. Then get ready for our last kindergarten story. This is the last one. This is the last one. And this one's gonna be about choice time. Remember choice time? Legos and office and kitchen. Choice time was so fun in kindergarten. I loved watching all of you play so kindly together. Okay, here's my story about choice time. Once upon a time, some penguins and dolphins were playing choice time. These friends were in the kitchen. One, two, three, four, five, six. There were six friends playing in the kitchen. But then, Oh, push pause and write, draw your picture. Okay, so the six friends were playing in the kitchen, but then the teachers opened the office. So all six friends left the kitchen and went and played in the office. Show that in your picture. So how many friends were left playing in the kitchen. Yeah, zero. Is this a plus story or a minus story? That's a minus story, yeah. Push pause and draw your picture, go. I mean, and write your equation, go. Okay, you're back. Now, I said that there were six friends playing in the kitchen. There's my six. So I'm gonna draw it, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six friends playing in the kitchen, but then they all, six of them, went and played in the office when the office got opened. So I'm gonna show that in my picture. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a minus story and I have to minus all six. So how many kids were still playing in the kitchen? Zero. You're right. I hope they didn't leave a mess. No, they wouldn't have left a mess because you learned in kindergarten to clean up all the choices when you were done playing with them. So they did not leave a mess in the kitchen. And when it was time to clean up the office, they all cleaned up the office too because you're very responsible, friendly kids. It's real. Okay, that's our last equation. Let's put our finger underneath it and read. Ready, go. Six minus six equals zero. Give yourself a heart or a happy face or a balloon. There's my balloon. You give yourself a balloon on the last day of kindergarten, balloons. Now, we did all this hard work. Give your brain a kiss. 
your brain has grown so much in kindergarten and worked so hard. Now, here's the deal. You're not done. On the last day of kindergarten, I want you to keep working that brain. So, if you're using a whiteboard, erase it. Take a picture of your hard work, though. Look at all these wonderful equations we made. Put it in your brain. And then erase your whiteboard. And if you're using a piece of paper, just turn your paper over to a blank side. And I have some more equations for you. Oh yes, that I want you to solve all by yourself. That's right. So, some of them are plus, some of them are minus. You can use your fingers, you can draw a picture. Maybe you just look at it and you know it. That's cool. Your brains have grown so big, that just might be the case. So, I want you to write these equations and solve them. Then take a picture of it, send it to me, send it to Mr. Bresca, and then give your brain a giant kiss for doing hard work on the last day of kindergarten. Bye friends, I'll see you in a little bit.